welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to use chatter here in salesforce let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is the first time in salesforce i want you to click the sign up option and from here just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go Chatter in Salesforce is a social collaboration tool that enables users to connect, collaborate, and share information within the Salesforce environment. Basically, it's similar to a social media platform, but it is designed for business use, allowing users to post updates, share files, and communicate directly within the context of a Salesforce records like accounts, opportunities, cases, and more. Now, once you are logged into your account, I want you to hover to the app launcher that is beside the setup. You see um, it's grayed out, but if you hover your mouse here, they would look like a circular colorful buttons. If you click that, you would notice that there's going to be a search app window type in chatter. And you would be forwarded to the official interface, wherein, you see, users can post updates, comments, questions, and feedback in a feed similar to a social media wall. You have three options here. You can post, for example, an update. Now, let me click and share an update here for example i'm gonna be putting in like a post i'm gonna click an underline and from here you can put in an image a file link you can uh, insert an emoji and of course mention people i'm gonna click on the insert image you have uh, four options owned by me shared with you recent and following i'm gonna upload the image right here and then wait for it once it's uploaded as you can see you can put in an emoji right here mention people for example it's going to be um g plafs all right and you can also put in attach 10 more files to all your followers all right so you can put that to link a record enter then start start typing the record name once you've done that, you have the option to share, obviously. All right. And all of the uh, tag people can comment here and like and share. So these are going to be uh, some of the handy features of the chatter. Now, another option that you can do is click the question. Wherein, for example, you have the question here. And if you want to add more details, you can put in here. And again, click the image if you want. So these are some of the ways for you to use the chatter. All right. Click on ask. And of course, that would be forwarded to the wall wherein the members and collaborators can comment, post an update, like, answer, and even share. That applies to the poll section also as here. For example, you put that. Choice one is, and um, choice two is going to be this, right? If you want to add new choice, you're also welcome to do that, all right? Now, click on it, and click on ask. You see, there's going to be an option here that says Einstein recommendations. If you want, you can also uh, click that, click on follow, following Einstein recommendations, you can uh, uh, do all of these information in chatter now now on the left side you have all of these options what i follow to me bookmark company highlights my drafts streams top opportunities and the recent groups if you don't have one why not create one okay click the plus button here this would lead you to click the new group for example this is going to be on g plus let's say chatter group description is this okay access type is is it gonna be public private 
or unlisted if you're just experimenting with the uh, data that you want to include but for now i'm going to put in uh, public you have the option to archive disable automatic archiving and broadcast only so these are going to be some of your best options using the chatter group click on save and next of course you can upload an image here once you do that you would notice you have an option to resize but i'm gonna stick with the default click on next you can search people that you wanted to add here right type in your teammates your client your collaborator or any team member that you wanted to add in this specific chatter group click on add and that's that you have successfully created a chatter group right here you can have the option to activate group you can no longer create new posts or share files with this group all right if you want to activate that remember we have archive it let's an act click on activate group so that's that you have a post announcement poll like we did earlier you have all of this engagement and the analytics from the uh 12 months since its iteration all right the group details and all of these you can edit group you can create new group member or add new group member wherein you can also put in every post daily digest weekly digest all right you can delete group if you want manage members members and of course upload some files now i'm hovering back again to the chatter home because in this section if you wanted to create top opportunities for the chatter you can create a new stream name for example this search account you can notify yourself every uh, single time every post or never i'm gonna click on every uh, post and you have created top opportunities on the streams now in this section you can explore what you follow all right or in this case bookmark if in case you have company highlights if you have and of course if you have drafted a post for the chatter all right because chatter helps connect people across different departments facilitating and communication and breaking down a lot of information all right so these as you can see chatter is an excellent way to enhance communication foster a collaborative culture ensuring team members stay informed about important updates within salesforce if you use chatter effectively you can improve productivity and streamline how information flows within your organization thank you so much for watching and we will see you again in the next one